Okay, let's now finish off the paper with 5.2. It says the graph below shows the estimated total population of South Africa and the annual population growth from 2013 to 2017. Okay, so it's quite an interesting graph this because it's actually got two axes, right? There's one over here, which is the total population, and the one over here is the population growth, which is a percentage. So these here are percentages, and this here is actually like people, right? The actual population. Right, so you can see that the population growth in 2013 was actually around about 2.4 and a half, right? But the number of people was 52,982,000. Okay, so it's important to understand this again. If you don't understand it off the bat, that's okay, but don't start answering questions about the graph until you're understanding what the question is asking and how it is actually uh, manifesting in the information that you've been given. Okay. So let's look at the first question. It says, write down in words and without the use of numbers, the population of South Africa in 2013. So I said it earlier, but it is 52,982,000 and there's nothing over there, thank goodness, right? So you must be able to write this out in words, okay? It's a bit of a lengthy undertaking, right? But it's just, it's very important to be able to read numbers, right? You're going to have to do this in any sort of occupation, regardless of whether you um, are mathematical or not, numbers crop up all, all the time. So it's 52 million, right? 900 and, oh, sorry, it says, and 82,000. Okay, so please be comfortable writing this out, okay? 52 million. 982,000. Okay, let's now go on to the next question. It says, determine rounded to the nearest 10,000, right? The population increase from 2015 to 2016. Okay, so we know from 2015 to 2016, we're going to have to say the 2016 amount minus the 2015 amount, get what that difference is, and then round it off. Okay, you do not round off while working out. You round off at the end. So I'm going to say 2016 minus 2015, right? I'm just going to say P for population. So it's 56020718 minus 54901943. Okay, that minus that, that minus that, because we're saying 2016, 2015 to 2016. So we say 2016 minus 2015. That will give us the growth. So let's put this into our calculators, 56020. Biggest thing here is putting it into your calculator correctly, 943. Okay, so our answer is 1118775, okay? But we're not done. It asks us to round off to the nearest 10,000, right? So the nearest 10,000 would be, so this is units, right? That is tens. That is hundreds, that is thousands, that is ten thousands. Okay, so what we're going to do is we want to round off here. Remember when we round off, we always look at the number next to the one that we want to um, round off. So we're going to be looking at this eight. Eight is greater than five, so we're going to round up. Okay, so it's going to become one, one, two, zero, 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 zero. Okay, that is it rounded off. You can do round off like that. You can show it as that little um, sort of squiggly equal sign because it means it's, it's rounded off, right? So remember, if it is less than four, you round down. If it's five or above, you round up. When you're looking to round off, you look at the number that is on the right of the number that you're trying to round off, and then it det that determines whether it's up or down. Okay, so that's a good one to note. Let's now go on to 5.2.3. 5.2.3 says calculate the annual population growth for 2015, right? So it wants us to do the current population, right? That would be 2015. The previous year would be 2014. The previous population would be 2014. Okay, so we're going to plug in these amounts for 2015 um, and 14 and work out the percentage because we're going to times by 100. Okay. So, 
The current population is 54901943 minus the previous year, which is 53947998. And we're going to put 53947998. And you're going to times it by 100. Okay, so we said 2015 minus 2014 over 2014 times by 100. Let's now put this into our calculator. Put it in exactly like that, okay? Don't be making any changes, otherwise you're going to be getting a weird answer. Okay, 53947998, and then we're just going to times it by 100. Oh, that was 10, sorry. Times by 100, and our percentage is 1.7682%. You can round it off to one decimal place or two decimal places because it didn't tell us, right? It didn't tell us. So I'm just going to round it off to two. So I'm going to say 1.77%. Why is it seven? Remember, we want to round off to two decimal places. We look at the one next to it. Eight is bigger than five. Round up. So it becomes seven, seven. Okay. So that is that done. Let's now look at our last question for this paper. It says, the answer sheet shows the bar graph for the estimated total population and annual growth from 2013 to 2017. If the 2018 population, so this is the next year, was 57725606 and the population growth was 2.13%, calculate the graph, complete the graph for 2018 on the answer sheet. Okay, here's the answer sheet. Importantly, put in your center number, put in your examination number. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically put the information they've given us into this graph. So let's first do the percentage. So we know it is 2.13. Here's 2, right? And then it's like 1.3, so it's probably somewhere over here. So I'm going to put a dot over there, right? And we need to connect it. Please use a ruler. I'm just going to quickly find my ruler. Okay. Then we connect this dot with this dot here. So we've now plotted the one point, okay? How much was the population? 57, 725, 606. So 57 is going to be somewhere up, up here, right? So this is 57 and that's 58. Let's see what the next one is, 725. So it's about three quarters of the way, right? So three quarters of the way is around about here. So I'm just going to put a line here. It's probably, please use a ruler. It's round about over there. Please write in the value the same way that we did for all of the other ones here. So it's 57, 725, 606. Okay, so that is all the points that we have, right? We've put in that amount, we've put in that line, um, we've put in this dot here, and we have connected everything, right? And that is that done. Let me just make sure you can see it. The amount, the line, the dot, and then the connected line. Four marks. Okay, that's this paper done. If you're done with this, move on to paper two. Okay, well done, guys.